Well, good afternoon again. Today's Friday. You can see I'm wearing a little bit of um, homegrown Lily of the Valley. Now, this is always really a tradition that they use at the Halston Flora. So, this is really for anybody that lives out in that Halston area and goes to the Flora, as we used to quite a bit. Um, look forward to we'll keeping the garden and hopefully it'll be all right for next year. All right, now, this is a. If, now, if anybody's got any little. Um, stories or poems that they want read out please contact me and I'll do it for you because I got one here in a minute to to read out now this is a story by the late Herbert Ling and it's called Auction Sale of Camburn come as on Richard Henry we'd have call him Richard John James Henry for short clean us your boots and comb your hair better put on your second best suit the first one is all gaggled over with pea soup. And you weren't able to go to school, you can come up sail with me. I've been wanting a mangle for years, and now there's one up there for sale. Father said, I had a look at that mangle, and there's more pits and banks in they rollers than what's down on our downs. Mother replied, don't suppose twill cost much to have them fixed up. When, replied father, cost five shillings to have the rollers returned. Five shillings for returning. Shan't pay it. We can fetch and when the job's done. Now, look as dear. Father, your dinner's in the oven. The boy and me, we's going sail. The sail room was packed with people and scowls of children. But Richard Henry and mother managed to shove in. Order, please shouted the auctioneer as he rapped upon the table. First, what am I bid for this lovely, overstrung, seven foot six inches piano? Overstrung, said a man in the front. I thought there was something the matter with him. No, my man, there's nothing wrong. That refers to its inside. Yes, said the man. That's what the doctor said about our maid, Lizzie Ann. She was overstrung. Would someone like to try? "'Tis a good piano. Only him's ever been played on it on Sundays. "'Up goes Joe Muggins, what to play down the little chapel. "'Loud cheering as Joe sat down and started playing. "'I taught, I taught seed a putty tat. "'To have a better effect, he lifted the cover of the piano "'and out jumped a mouse. "'It sprang on Joe's bald head ran along the table and up the sleeve of the auctioneer's coat. He quickly grabbed the bottom of the sleeve to keep the mouse from running down again and shouted, I gotten, I gotten, but he didn't know what to do with him when he hadn't. And hot water down your neck, that was shifting, said mother. Will somebody help me take off my coat, asked the auctioneer. All the women shouted, no, no, don't leave, leave on. Look, out there he is, as the mouse was seen looking out over his collar, just as the auctioneer gave a get sneeze, and the mouse was never seen again from that day to this. The piano was left unsold. Now here's a lovely chest with a secret drawer that nobody ever found out how to open it. To said it used to belong to an old miser who died leaving a fortune, but where it is, nobody to know. Hark! You can hear something in it now, as he rattled the chest. Mine titted another mouse, said Richard Henry. Bidden went on till twenty-five shillings was reached. It was knocked down to Mrs. Goninen. Stayed up all night, she did, looking for the treasure. Three penneth of fire was all that she made of that chest. Now, Mother couldn't keep her eyes off that mangle, all newly painted with red and green stripes. Yes, look on some handsome, she said, and if he went work, he'll look grand in the front room. After a few odds and ends were sold, it was a mangle's turn. How about you, asked the auctioneer, to get fat lady in front. Will you start the bidding? No, no, she says, don't cost me nothing now. I do do go next door to my mangling. Half a crown, shouted mother. Cost that the painting, replied the owner. Five shillings, said Mrs. Jinks. Six, said Mother. Seven, bid old Billy Winks. Tis between the Winkses and the Jinxes, laughed the auctioneer. 
seven and six, screamed Mother. And you needn't call my house no more with any coal, Billy Winks. There was no more bids after that, so Mother had the hang mangle. I got my donkey and cart outside, remarked Tom Tigley. I'll get home for ye. It took three men and four women to get that mangle up in the cart, and when they did, the donkey went lie down. Tis some job, said Tom Tiddley. The last time he went lie down, he was there for two days. And he'd been there till now if the band didn't come along and play the national anthem. He won't be there in that no two days, if I don't know anything about it, said Mother. Hold her a minute, I'll be here again. Hope she goes to Lizzie Ann's tag shop and soon was back again with two ounces of pepper. She no sooner started to blow some of the pepper over the dunker's head when up he jumped. And if he sneezed, sneezed once, he sneezed forty times and bolted up the road. He's a good donkey. Go when he's going, said Richard Henry. Yesterday he passed me so fast I didn't see him till he was out of sight. What's for tay day, said Richard Henry. If he's still, asked Father. What's that? Well, you'll be lucky if you get any. Come as on, help me get the mangle upstairs. Pawn that in came Mother. What do we want to put the mangle upstairs for, she asked. Well, got the oil can, and I left the oil can up there, replied Father. Now every day's wash day, tis like a fair. All the neighbours to come in, and Father haven't got no time for work. Now this one is a little poem by, sent by Jane Millward, and it's, got, it's called By British. Danish bacon, New Zealand lamb. No one seems to give a damn. Dutch potatoes, Polish pork. Check what's on your knife and fork. German yogurt, Brazilian beef. Please turn over a new leaf. Next time you go out to the shops, look for British meat and crops. Chicken from Thailand, apples from France. They don't give us a fighting chance. Shops packed full of foreign meat, prices slashed, we can't compete. You need to know what you are buying. Read the labels, we are complying. The highest standards on the earth are grown and bred on British turf. Pick the packs with union flags, red tractor labels, fill your bags. Top quality is then assured and a farm's futures then secured. Thanks very much.